what's up guys, Dave Productions here. As promised, here is a short follow up to my previous video of my Galaxy Watch 4 getting screen burning. So I sent my watch in for repair last Tuesday the 18th of January and my watch was ready for collection on the 21st of January or last Friday. I collected it on that Friday and have been using the watch ever since. So how was the repair process like and how has the watch been so far? Let's talk about those. So first, the repair process. And if I had to use one word to describe it, frustrating. The sending in process of the watch was quite a pain. The first step was to book an appointment with Samsung for a date and time to go down to the repair center. That's fine and I'm not complaining about that because it is a COVID restriction thing. The actual headache was on the day itself. I walked into Samsung and got a queue number and waited. When the time came for me to talk to the service center person, that's where things started to get a bit crazy. First thing I did, uh, as anyone would, would be to describe the issue that you had with your device to the person. And that's exactly what I did. And you could see the issue of burning uh, as I did show in my previous video. But the lighting in the center was not helping and the burning was not really that easy to see. And so because of this, the service center person could not really see what I was talking about. He then proceeded to set the watch to testing mode, which is essentially a mode that allows you to test the individual sensors and components of the watch. For display testing, the display basically tests the three different pixels of the watch, which is red, green, and blue. So the screen basically enables each pixel one at a time. And the strange thing was, you could not see the burn-in in either of the red, green, or blue screens. So from that, I was already a little confused and frustrated because I told him that the burn-in was there and that you just couldn't see it from the testing mode. But he did insist that this was the only way that they would test for burn-in and that there was no other way to test for burn-in other than this method. So we basically went back and forth uh, of me trying to convince him and show him what burn-in I was talking about and this went on for a pretty good amount of time. So I was pretty frustrated at the point, but I was trying to keep my cool as much as possible because uh, it really just felt as if he was trying to work against me and trying in all his power to prove that you know uh, I was wrong and that the problem just didn't exist. Alternatively, he probably just had no idea what I was talking about and so he was also just as frustrated as well. Uh, eventually, I feel like he understood what I was talking about and realized that I was right um, because I was referring to the uh, hour uh, our lines on the outer part of the display and he couldn't really see it at first but I think eventually he managed to see the hour lines. Um, he did eventually let me send the watch in for repair so he probably understood what I was talking about. Um, when I got the repair receipt however that was where I was a bit uh, concerned because uh, what he wrote in the box which described the problem of the watch was it was not the most accurate description as to what the problem was. I cannot really remember word for word about what he wrote because when I did collect the watch I had to return the piece of paper but uh, if I'm not wrong it was along the lines of lines visible along the outer edge of the display which is correct in the sense where you can see the hour uh, lines on the you know circumference of the display but it was more or less a pretty inaccurate description and the technician could have thought it was another problem. And the burn-in was not just limited to the hour lines on the circumference of the display, but you could also see the different complications uh, around the display, especially this complication of the battery indicator. You could see this very distinct curve uh, on the watch face and anywhere else in the watch. So um, that aside, I was also worried about the whole water resistance matter because uh, I did have many previous Samsung devices that I sent in for repair came back out and they got water damage the moment they even, you know, looked at water pretty much. Anyways, at the end of the day, I got the message that my watch was ready for collection on Friday at about 9am and so I went to go and collect it after school. Upon collection, the staff member told me that they had replaced the LCD. He referred it to an LCD instead of an OLED which <laughs> got me a bit confused at first but I was like, uh, he probably just doesn't really no, that is an OLED because, well, he is a counter staff and not a technician. On top of that, he also said that they did replace the back casing of the watch so as to maintain its water resistance, which is quite interesting because when I was sending in my watch, I did mention how I was worried about the water resistance status of the watch after I had gotten it repaired and mentioned how I had previous Samsung devices get water damaged after getting repaired. 
Um, but it's interesting that they had to replace the whole back casing uh, to maintain water resistance. So they might have either, you know, damaged it or, I don't know, maybe you do have to replace the whole back casing because of a specific adhesive. Who knows? But uh, maybe a tear down on YouTube would tell me. Uh, but in general, that was the whole repair process. So let's talk about how the watch had been since then and, you know, um, whether it has performed just as well as before I sent it in. So since then, the watch has been alright, but I've really got a huge and relatively deep scratch on the display. Let me try and show it here on camera at a certain angle. Oh, there we go. As you can see, there is a pretty big and nasty gash on the bottom right of the display here, and it is quite more visible in person, maybe not so in camera. Um, in cam On camera, you do have to see it in a very specific angle, but you can see it and actually really feel it. Um, <laughs> during day-to-day -day use which is quite sad and annoying but I guess I'll just have to find a way to live with that because this isn't a warranty repair kind of thing and you can't just walk in and say oh I got a scratch on my display you know I want a unreplacement you know cover glass that's not gonna work it doesn't work that way other than that though there hasn't been any burn-in yet uh, which if there was I'll be pretty upset but there isn't so that's good I have placed my watch under the tap once so far uh, to wash away the sweat that I had accumulated on the watch after a run and the watch is still 100% functional so that's a good sign um, and with that, that has been pretty much my whole experience with the repair for my Galaxy Watch 4 and how it has performed for about a week of use although I do hope that the screen burning issue was a one-off for this watch I have seen some comments in my previous video on the whole burning issue of this watch saying that I think there was one person who got burned in on the first day apparently and uh, that mine isn't really an isolated case, so that is a bit worrying for the status of this watch. Um, well, seeing how I was able to get it to burn in, in under 6 months of use, and this watch is a 1 year warranty, it'll be interesting to see whether that I will get a burn in again uh, in the next 6 months. So only time will tell for that, so let's see if in the next 6 months I will get burn in, because if I do, I technically still can get this repaired under warranty. I think the most concerning thing is that if it happened again within these 6 months and I get it repaired but then it will be out of warranty and then that's where the trouble comes in because if it burns in again after about you know after the 1 year warranty is up then well you kind of just have to live with it or pay for the repair which is definitely not going to be cheap or you could get a new you know Galaxy Watch, Galaxy Watch 5 or something but that is you know not the smartest decision but yeah so that is all i have for this video uh, i am still working on my history of samsung repairs video so do look out for that um subscribe if you want to uh, you know have the first notification of when that video is out but for now that's been it if you like this video do give it a thumbs up uh please like and subscribe as it really help this channel out thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one